Running back Zach Moss has struggled, and Bills fans want to see more of Matt Breida. So I want to break down why. This split zone run is a staple in the Bills zone base scheme. Moss has run this play the most among the running backs. On 20 attempts, he's averaged 3.5 yards per attempt. As soon as number 97 takes outside leverage to the edge, Moss's eyes should be moving on to his next read. But he hangs onto the front side reads a tad too long and doesn't just commit. But if Moss worked through his reads quicker, there was yardage to be had, especially if he got to the cutback behind Moss sooner. He makes the cut, but it's too late. Similar play here, but Moss reads it quicker. But he didn't quite show the decisiveness you want in a one-cut, north-south zone-based run. It's a very tough block for Morse, there's no doubt about it. But the defensive front seven are fast-flowing playside. And there's a cutback lane if it's hit on time and with purpose. While Moss gets his eyes to where he wants to go, the cut takes far too much time and he's wrapped up. So let's take a look at Brita and what he brings. Different scheme here as the Bills run a pin and pull run, but let's examine what his speed brings to the run game. The Colts drop into a two deep shell and Brita's speed compromises the angle of the safety coming from depth. Brita also sets the safety up well with a stab inside before bouncing wide. These pin and pull runs are great because you get several down blocks on the front side of the play, linemen out in space, and there rarely will be a force player off the edge when defenses want to play two deep shells against 12 personnel looks. That will get Breida on the perimeter and allow him to get to top speed. Here's another pin and pull run meant to get to the perimeter. But if we want to nitpick, Breida is outpacing his blocker Mitch Morse. His pace is slightly ahead of Morse's, who typically kicks out the linebacker so the running back can cut inside. But he does his best to set up the block and just keeps the play out wide to avoid the pursuit from the inside out. Here's another example of things not being blocked up perfectly, but given Breida's athleticism, he's able to hit the cutback and get north and south for a positive gain that probably should have been a loss on the play. Number 90 Stewart worked over the top of the down block by Ford, and he has Breida dead to rights. But Breida is able to cut it back against the grain, all the way back behind the blocks by the tight ends. Breida isn't a long-term answer, but his speed is the dynamic the Bills offense needs. The offensive line struggles to create displacement, and it makes processing by running backs very difficult. Reads aren't always clean, and when they aren't, speed can help overcome average run blocking.